All right, in this video, we are going to test our control units. So let's move to control. So which is exactly the functions can make our robot smart, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to add a loop to here. And I'm going to explain to you why and how that works. So let's add a forever loop to here, directly after you set up your initial variable, which is uh, VR1 underscore 1, uh, I'm going to set up the initial value to be 1. So at the very beginning, the value being stored in this variable is 1. So one thing you need to know is, for this kind of uh, program, it's being executed line by line by the computer. So, for example, whenever you press start, this push button, it's going to start running from the first line, then the second line, the third line, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, which means it takes a little bit of time, which is really fast, actually. Depends on the computer's speed. So, it's going to do, it's not going to move like this. Boom, 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 boom. It's actually running like this. Boom, boom, something like this. So it's running super fast. Um, because the computer is fast, right? So, uh, if we define a loop here, loop forever, which means whenever it's uh, it executes the first line, the second line, this whenever it gets into the loop, it's gonna loop inside here forever. It's not going to getting out of this loop uh, until you stop it by a, another specific command. Right, so what's gonna happen for, for now, whatever I have over here is, it's gonna run like this, boom, 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 mm, and just looping inside the loop. Uh, so this is pretty important. You know, sometimes you, you can think, you can use a automatic loop to keep changing, updating your variables in order to uh, implement some kind of a specific, a specific uh, functions for the program. So what we are going to do over here is we are going to, because the initial speed for the motor is just one, and what we are trying to do is we are going to add one to the speed to the motor for every loop. So whenever it comes back to the top of the loop, it's going to add another one to the speed. So which means the motor is going to running faster and faster and faster because the speed is getting higher. Um, and then we're going to change the step, the step size, which is uh, whatever we are going to add to it for every loop. Make the step size larger, so you can see the acceleration will be a lot faster. So let's do a quick test. So I, I'm going to explain to you for all the details when we are uh, working on this program. So at the very beginning, uh, after the first two lines are being executed, it gets into the loop. And the first thing we want to do is, so whenever it gets into the loop, we want to add one to this variable. So we need, we need the set function. You can see it's a right color. We need this one inside the loop. Be careful. So we need to add something to variable one. But you can see that it's just assigning a constant to variable one. So the problem here is we do need an operation to do this job, to do the adding operation. So let's see if we have it. It should be operators. Okay, and operator should be something add to something. Put it over there. And we need uh, set variable one to what? To variable one plus one, okay? Because every time variable one is gonna hold a different value, and we need keep adding up to the to the value what variable one holds from the previous loop, okay? So we need variable one over here as a something we you know cannot. Uh, Control by ourselves, so we need we need the computer to to 
uh, transfer whatever you know has been held in the in the variable to here. So we are going to add. You can see it's a, a plus sign, so we don't need to change it. So every time I'm going to add one to it, so it's getting faster and faster every loop, and the speed will be variable one. So now let's see if this will work. So you can imagine that uh, because it's been the computer is super fast, so it's gonna execute the code really fast. So after the first two lines, it's gonna stuck inside the loop and mm -mm -mm, do this, run this like this. So it's keep up. It's gonna keep updating the speed, the variable one here in this speed function. So which means it's going to because variable one is going to increase. So the speed will increase, and you can see the the uh, spiral bolt will change the speed along the along the way, and it's gonna accelerate. It's getting faster and faster. And let's take a look. I'm not sure if this really low speed will uh, get the spiral bolt started, but uh, let's see. If it's not getting started, we're going to change this value to a little bit higher for the initial uh, to trigger the movement. I'm gonna run it and see. If that works, oh, it works. All right, it just <laughs> almost like, uh, hit the window. But anyway, you can see it's coming. It's it's getting faster and faster actually. All right, so I so now I need the spiral bolt comes back. So what I'm gonna do is I will I need to assign a negative speed. Is actually it's gonna drive the motor rotate in a opposite way. So and every time I will add a more negative number to it. So I'm gonna change this number to negative one as well. So it's gonna come back with uh, uh, increasing speed. So it's gonna getting faster and faster. That's what I hope. And now let's see. So it is coming back. All right, just stop. Okay, so this is a really quick demonstration for using a forever loop. It's actually a dead loop since it's gonna keep running inside the loop. Uh, and hopefully you can repeat this experiment on your side. Okay, see you in the next video.